how does the Pythagorean order of death view the concept of death? In the POD's three Egyptian masonry rituals, it is described that death is a threshold that can be crossed back and forth using magic, and that, therefore, in essence, its permanence is a myth. In these rituals, it morally proscribes against necromancy, or specifically, the creation of a clone or golem without imbuing it a soul. However, at the same time, explains this to have occurred in history anyway, despite being wrong. So, on the one hand, death is true, but detrimental. And, on the other hand, immortality is fictional, yet ideal. Unlike ancient Pythagoreans, the modern POD does not preach any specific form of metempsychosis, or transmigration of a soul in any form of afterlife as being a required belief for membership. Again, the POD is open to all, everyone from a strict adherent of reincarnation to a devout believer in heaven and hell may enter. It is not the specific goal or objective of the POD to divide people based on existing beliefs, but to add on all sides equally a new nuance to these beliefs, the Atlantean democratic social model, that, hopefully, will ultimately benefit all. <laughs>